rude awakening. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sherilyn Fenn. Right. <laughs> You always look good, but you look great. I like this. This I like. What does this mean? These are sleeves, but they're there. What does this mean? Yeah. This is in case I get incredibly nervous and I can kind of go. You wipe the sweat? <gasps> yeah. It's got some oriental feel. I like that. It's got some kind of flavor, some foreign exotic. I'm a very exotic person. Yeah. Rude. Yeah. O you know what they say? <laughs> you know what they say about Rude Awakening? It's on. It's on Showtime. Rude Awakening, your mm -hmm. show. Mm -hmm. It's the Sopranos of Showtime, isn't it? It's the big oh. show, right? That's yeah, a lot of pressure. I mean, I, I, well, I think it's a good show. It's a fun show. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we can be compared to The Sopranos. Well, but... we can do anything here. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We can compare to The Sopranos. I'm just concerned, because you were here a year ago, and, and your character, Billy, Billy Frank... Mm -hmm. Billy Frank. ...had a drinking problem. <laughs> a bit of a drinking problem. And I want... I, it's been a year. I assume she's got that problem in check. Um, she's trying. <laughs> because otherwise, she's in for a rude awakening. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Well, what's her, what, what is her... What is the drinking problem? What, what is it? Isn't she a recovered alcoholic, your character? She's trying to be a recovered alcoholic, but she's struggling with it. She, um, she has lapses? Yes, she has very big lapses. Well, well, very that... unattractive lapses, actually. Explain that. How does that work? Um, well, you go out, you meet people that you don't uh, really... I don't know, end up spending that much time with, except you end up in bed with them and drinking wow. a lot of alcohol with them. <laughs> and then you wake up, have yes. no idea who they are, yeah. and then think, oh, I think I have a problem. Yeah. I think I have to change something about my life. So That's, that's not good, although it, it does make for an inter entertaining show. <laughs> it does. It does. I just don't understand the... La I, I mean, I do understand... I have lapses in drinking, and my lapse is just when... when Are you an alcoholic crisis? No. Are no. you sure? Yeah, no, I have... Okay. I, I, I try not to drink, but whenever... I notice you have a bar right behind you. I know. <laughs> right behind you. No, sometimes when I go out, I have a problem. I'm tempted when the, the, the waitress says, do you want something to drink? <laughs> Of that. <laughs> I, that's that's what throws me over. I say, sure, I'll have something to drink. You know, Billy has the same problem. But doesn't this Billy, doesn't this Billy talk crazy, talk noise? Well, she doesn't talk noise. You know what? I, I love the character because she has a great sense of humor. Yeah. She's able to laugh at herself, laugh at her problems, laugh at everybody else's problems. Right. And, um... I don't know, it's kind of refreshing. But don't you, in your personal life, sometimes you'll say something rude and you'll say, that wasn't me talking. <laughs> Is that what you do? Oh, who have you been speaking to? Yeah, they do that. Yeah, something happens. Uh, uh, That's a cop-out. Oh, it is a cop-out. <laughs> it's a complete cop-out. Oh, what happens is different situations will occur, and I wish I could think of one really specifically, but something very rude will come out of my mouth. Okay. And I'll just say, oh, <laughs> so that was Billy. That, that was wasn't me. you. Okay. <laughs> that really wasn't me. I'm so sorry about that. And does that work? Uh, it does. Yeah. It does. Because when I, I... Maybe not anymore, but... I don't say anything rude. What do you say? I don't. I don't say anything rude. So, but if I would say something well, how does rude, that manifest I would take credit. You? I would take credit. I, I would, or you my writers. I would say my writer. My writer, <laughs> writer. It's the writers. How did you, uh, how did you get started acting? Was it late or were you a kid when you, when you acted? Um, I fell into it when I was 17. I moved to Los Angeles mm -hmm. with my mother and, uh, met people that, I don't know, like most 17-year-olds, I didn't think I knew what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. and Lost and searching. Exactly. And right. people just said, why don't you try this? Do you ever think of school? Does that ever... Does, does anyone ever think of that anymore? <laughs> You're 17. I went to high school. from high school, right. there's a lot of pressure for, I think, for 17, 18-year-olds. Right. What are you going to do? What are you going to do what now do you that you dropped out of high Who school? Who are you? Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's Sorry. not being nice, is I he? Am, that was, that was Billy Frank target. talking. It <laughs> wasn't me talking. No, that was my writers. Yeah, exactly. Actually. But do you, uh, didn't you act as a kid like, uh, didn't you play house and all that crap? I the, uh... did. I did. Um, you know, the only thing that would have been kind of 
I don't know, a, a sign that maybe I would be an actress was we used to do films in my friend's basement. We would um, dress up and pretend that we were making a... We didn't actually make a film. We pretended we were making a film. So They do films in people's basements up in... Uh, in Michigan. No, they do it in the valley, and I don't want to hear it. <laughs> It was an imaginary. Yeah. It was a, you know, pretend. Oh, you guys acted. Well, what was the, what was the movie? Second, like? third grade. Well, we we made um, the Towering Inferno. Oh, the the, uh, the yeah, Towering yeah, Inferno. Yeah, the Towering Inferno. And I was in, playing in down someone's the way. basement. In someone's basement. I think I think not not to correct you guys. I think, oh my God. No, maybe Poseidon Adventure in a basement. Towering yeah. Inferno in the attic, maybe. Hmm. Right. You know, Doesn't matter. when you're in second grade, <laughs> whatever when it you're is, in second it's your grade imagination, and you're going right? to drop out when you're 17. It does, exactly. None of, none of it exactly. Right. And be glad that there is some direction there at all, yeah. right? So, so you're Faye Dunaway. So I'm Faye Dunaway. I had the curtains that matched her beige dress, right. like these curtains on me. That, and um, Paul Newman was the cute boy in the neighborhood, oh. whose name was also Paul. So I could pin him down and kiss him, which was, you know. <laughs> no, I like, I like. The, the kiss thing is cool, but I like that you have to pin them down. For, yeah. a, for a youngster, that's pretty aggressive. In second and third grade, you did have to pin them down. They, that's right. That's what I found. Because they would. I do. I have very would, specific that's memories. Right. They would run. I said it to my aunt once. I remember because um, she has a one of her daughters was getting to that age, and I said, you know, do you think she's kissing boys? She said, Absolutely not. So I went to my little, you know, cousin. I said, are you, you know, are you kissing boys? She's like, oh yeah. <laughs> I said, but do you have to like pin them down to yeah. do it? Well, you might as well kiss them when you're young, because once you get married, you got you never kiss them anymore. <laughs> Maybe you don't, but I plan to be how doing would, a lot of kissing when I get married. How would I know? I'm not even close to being married. Are you like I single just, guy? No, I have a girlfriend. We just we keep it quiet. Now, <laughs> we come back. Five questions. <laughs> <laughs>